afternoon, good morning, good day. How are you today? You know I am wonderful because today we're talking about something that I love, something you love. Magic. But not movie magic and not the Harry Potter magic. The other kind of magic. Real magic. Science. Sometimes you see something and you don't understand it. You think it must be magic. How can this big airplane go up in the air? It's so big it should fall down. But it doesn't. It's magic. It's science. Science can make things happen that you think are magic. So today we're going to look at different things, but maybe we're going to look at something and we cannot see it. What does that mean? Do you know this word? Vision. Vision, it means you can see. Your eyes have vision. But let's change it a little. Vision's a noun. Let's make it an adjective. Visible. Mm. What does that mean? It means you can see it. Can you see me right now? Yes, because I'm visible. Can you see me right now? No. I'm not visible? Is it because of magic? Or did I just walk away? Movie magic. The opposite of visible is invisible. So, there are many things that are invisible. Remember, when we're talking about a noun, I like to say, if you can touch it, it's a noun. But sometimes there are things you cannot touch. I go to sleep. I have a dream. Can you touch my dream? No. When I think something, it's real. It's a noun. A thought is a noun. But you cannot touch it. And you cannot see it. But today we're going to talk about something you can touch, but you cannot see. Air. Look, I'm touching air right now but I don't see it. I don't even feel it. I'm touching it, but I don't feel it. Sometimes we feel air. We feel the wind. But can you see the wind? How do you draw a picture of a wind? Of wind? Well, the fan blows wind. The leaves are blowing in the wind. So, okay, we can draw wind. But we're not really looking at the wind, we're just looking at the fan and the leaves. Okay, you can draw lines to be the wind, but that's not real. That's just animation. When you really look outside, you don't see the wind because it's air. But you can feel it, you can touch it. You don't touch it like this, you just feel it on your skin. But if you can't see it, it's invisible. Is it real? Or it's not really there? Well, you feel it, so you know it's there, but is wind strong? You feel the wind, but that's when the air is moving. It's running and it hits you. But what if there's no wind? Is it still very strong? This is wind, it's moving very, very fast. It's very strong. It can pick up a car and throw it. But we're not talking about bad weather. Just the wind right now, is it strong? Stronger than you? <laughs> yes. Stronger than me? 
Yes. Stronger than Bruce Banner? Yes. Wind is very, very strong. Wind can pick up an airplane. Why do you think the airplane can fly? Because it has wings? Some birds have wings and they cannot fly. An ostrich has wings, but he's too big, he cannot fly. But the airplane is much bigger than the ostrich. Does the airplane flap its wings? No. So how does it fly? Because of the air. The air is so strong, it just pushes up in the air. It pushes the airplane. Wait, you know how to push people. Don't push me. But does air push people? Well, yes, that's the wind. But even with no wind, it can push an airplane up. How can air be so strong? Well, we can look at an airplane later. First, let's just look at the air, even though we cannot see it. We're going to look at it, but we cannot see it. Hello, you are looking at my television, and you can see me. Hey, now, stop looking at me. Please look at this cup. It's called a measuring cup. Do you remember what measure means? We measure with a ruler, but you cannot measure how much water you're drinking with a ruler. You need a measuring cup. It has a ruler on the cup. So, in the morning when I'm drinking milk, I can put my... Sorry, when I'm drinking coffee, I can put milk in here so I can make a latte. Okay, you understand. The cup has a lid. But wait, the lid has a lid. Why does a lid have a lid? Because you can pour the milk or water, whatever, from here, but there's a lid. Now, we're going to use science to show you that air is real. You don't see the air, but it's real. And it's strong. Let's take, take off the small lid and the big lid. We can put it on so easy. But if we put the small lid on the big lid, it's hard to put on because there's air inside. So, here's what we're going to do. We're going to try to do it fast. Ready? What just happened? The small lid went flying up in the air. Was it magic? No, because the holes let the air go, so it's easy to put on. But when you put this on, there's no air going through, so the air will push. Ready? Is that cool? Is it magic? The first question, yes, it's cool. The second question, now it's not magic. It's science. Now let's talk a little bit about the swimming pool. But remember, this is not swimming class. You're not learning how to swim. We're just going to talk about one part of swimming. Because you already know how to swim, right? You can swim like a fish. You can swim like Aquaman. You can swim like a horse. Wait, can a horse swim? I don't know. No, I think horses cannot swim because they're too big. Just like an elephant. They're too big. They cannot swim. 
a horse is like a camel. They don't even drink water. They're, they're scared of the water. If they see the water, they just run away. And they run away very fast. Because they're horses. So, we're not talking about swimming. We're not talking about how you get in the pool. You know how to get in the pool. There are many different ways you can get in the pool. Some people like to go head first. That's called a dive. Do you like to dive into the pool? Well, it's fun to dive, but it can be scary. It can be dangerous. You have to be careful if you're diving into the pool. So it's better to go feet first. But if you'd like, you can go down a slide. It's called a water slide. Is it safe to go down the water slide into the pool? Well, maybe yes, maybe no. Just be careful no matter what you do. But any way you get in the pool, you can slowly walk in. You can go down the steps. We're not talking about that. We're talking about how you get out of the pool. How do you get out? Do you just fall out of a pool? Do you jump out of the pool? No, you cannot do that. You have to push to get out of the pool. Remember, we're talking about pushing. The air pushes an airplane. When you get out of the pool, you put your hands on the ground and then you push. And what happens when you push down? You go up. That's why the exercise is called a push-up. But you're really pushing down. And then it pushes you up. So, the ground pushes you up. Just like the air pushes the airplane up. Now, I get out of the pool a little different from you and the penguin. I push up. And I bring my feet all the way up into the air. And then I walk on my hands to get out of the pool. And then I go do my homework. Now, maybe that's too hard for you, too difficult. That's okay. You can just do it the easy way. But we're really not talking about the swimming pool today. I just want you to think about that. The way you're pushing down on the ground. That's what the airplane is doing to the air. It's pushing down on the air. But what part of the airplane? Is it the airplane's tail? No. Is it the nose? No. Remember, an airplane has a nose just like you. An airplane has a tail just like you. But it's the wings. The wings of an airplane are pushing down. But wait, they don't flap. Remember, a bird flaps its wings. That's why they can fly. Because when they flap their wings, they're pushing down on the air. So the air pushes them up. Just like getting out of the pool. So how does the air push it up. Because, look at your hand. Your hand is very small. Now look at the wing on an airplane. It's very big and fat. It's very wide. So, when it's wide, it's pushing down more air. That's how it pushes up into the air. Think about ping pong. Look at the ping-pong paddle. And now look at a tennis racket. The games are a little different. So which one do you think is hitting more air? The tennis racket is bigger, but it has lots of holes. The ping-pong ball, sorry, the ping-pong paddle is small, but there's no holes. So when you swing it, you're hitting more air. That means you can fly if you have two ping-pong paddles. 
Okay. No. If you want to fly, you need something bigger than ping pong paddles. Something very, very big. And you need to go very fast, like an airplane. The airplane, it has an engine. Do you remember engine? The engine makes it go fast. And the wings are pushing on the air very fast. So that's how the air can lift the plane into the air. That's why it's called an airplane. Do we understand? Celebrate. We went to a carnival. Everyone was there. We dressed up, sang some songs. Watched a parade, but best of all, we danced to music, wonderful music. We danced to music all day long. We danced to music, wonderful music. We danced to music all day long. Did you like the food? Yes, I like the food. Did you dress up? Yes, I went as a frog. We danced to music, wonderful music. We danced to music all day long. We danced to music, wonderful music. We dance to music all day long. Did you like the costumes? Yes, I like the costumes. Did you see any masks? Yes, we saw some masks. We dance to music, wonderful music. We dance to music all day long. We dance to music, wonderful music. We dance to music all day long. Okay. Now, what is the important thing to remember from today? Is it the way I get out of the swimming pool? In my bikini? No. The most important thing is one, magic is not real. But when you see something that you think looks like magic, it's science. And remember, just because you cannot see something, air, it's real. It's there, it's right in front of your face. It's just invisible, and it may be very, very strong. Now, we said the wind is so strong, it can push an airplane up in the air. It's so strong, it can pick up a car. So you already know how strong the wind is. But if you want to push something up, you cannot just use your hands because your hands are too small. I have big hands, but are they as big as an airplane? As an airplane's wings? No. Bird's wings can be very small, but is the bird heavy or light? The bird is very light, so it's okay that their wings are small, but the airplane is very heavy so it needs big wings to push lots of air. So, just remember the ping pong paddle and the tennis racket, and you understand, if you want to fly, you cannot use a tennis racket. But the tennis racket can go faster because it's not hitting the air. The ping pong paddle 
it's hitting so much air, it will go slower because air is a real thing. You're touching it right now. You just don't know it. Okay, class is over. See you next time. Bye-bye.